True Peace Kins, it is Monday, October the 19th, 2020, and I am back at y'all with another one. And if you trying to stay ahead of the game, guess what? You should subscribe to Peep the Slang. Insurance of biometric cards for Kenyans, imminent as regulatory framework in place. Say, man, that's the headline, peep the slang when it's given. Citizens of East Africa, biggest economy, Kenya, will soon be issued biometric identification cards, which will enable them have access to certain public services. This follows the putting in place of regulations, which will guide the process. Kenya Business Website reports. Registration for the National Integrated Identity Management System cards, known by Kenyans as Huduma cards, will be a precondition for Kenyans, refugees, or foreigners on Kenyan soil to enjoy certain key government services, such as the insurance of passports and the registration of SIM cards and the land titles, the report adds. The new rules require cards to be issued within 30 days of registration. About 38 million Kenyans were already registered for the cards by May when the biometric enrollment exercise came to an end. Authorities say only citizens 18 years of age and above are eligible to hold the card. Meanwhile, another category of the card will be issued to minors. Cabinet Secretary of Kenya Interior Minister Fred M. issued a notice recently regarding the new regulations saying the objects of these rules are to provide mechanisms for operation of the National Integrated Identity Management System and facilitate the assigning of Huduma Namba and issuance of Huduma card to a resident individual. Any government agency requiring personal particulars of an individual shall at the first instance rely on the NIMS National Integrated Identity Management System database to authenticate the foundational data of an enrollment resident individual for the purpose of establishing proof of identity the presentation of the Huduma card or the Huduma NAMBA authenticated by biometric constitutes sufficient proof the senior Kenyan official was quoted by Business Daily Although the road to the delivery of the cards has been mired in controversy, the Kenyan president, Uhuru Kenyatta, hailed the introduction of the digital tool last year, saying the system will help reveal the truth about personal identity in Kenya. While the insurance of the cards has been described by a number of Kenyans as laudable initiative, others have raised concerns about privacy issues with the biometric and biographic data collected. The fear for the security of personal data collected from citizens for the person purpose, I mean, of issuing the cards. Two organizations, the Nubian Rights Forum and Kenya Human Rights Commission, have taken legal action against the government of Kenya over what they argue were lack of clear laws on data protection, which regard to the NIMS project. But assurances have been given that all data collected for civil registration purposes shall not be transferred to any other party except by written approval of the data commissioner.